Look guys, if you keep buying copies of the book, I will have to keep doing updates as we break through more and more stretch goals. I suppose this is in fact an entirely good thing. Uh, we have gone through two more, and in fact at the time of this filming, uh, we are on the cusp of hitting the $750,000 stretch goal, which is amazing. Uh, the two that we have gotten are, one of them, Arsenal Profiles, which is excellent. Uh, we didn't split these up as stretch goals the way we did with uh, some of the different Warlord profiles, so having hit the Arsenal Profile stretch goal, we will in fact have six different Arsenal Profiles in the book, and those will form one of the appendices. Uh, just to be clear, these are not like in-depth histories of each of these arsenals. These are relatively short, you know, basically a page per arsenal uh, on some of the most important, the largest, the most uh, influential arsenals. And the ones that we know, in some cases, were the ones manufacturing the guns that we have in the book. So we'll have that in there. Uh, and we have passed the stretch goal for Wu Peifu. Um, I apologize for my terrible Chinese pronunciation. Um, he is another one of the, he is a particularly influential warlord, especially in the early period, really the, the height, the, the most uh, active period of the warlord era, that would be the 1920s. Uh, so he actually, he got into a military career uh, back in the 1800s, his father died, and so he joined the military to help support his family. Uh, ended up doing quite well. He served in the Russo-Japanese War. Uh, China was an ally of Japan in that war. He served in a reconnaissance unit and uh, was actually decorated for his exceptional performance in that conflict. Uh, went on to join the military hierarchy uh, and by 1917 he was in command of the 3rd Division. So you may recall I mentioned previously that as China was trying to modernize its military forces, they established a new style of army with two divisions in each province that would be basically administered by those individual provinces. Uh, so command of a division was a pretty substantial thing at this point. That's effectively, you're controlling half of the entire provincial military. Um, and he would uh, essentially become the leader of the Chile clique. Uh, the warlords in this period are often referred to as, as having various cliques of, you know, one lord, warlord by himself was very vulnerable, so they got together in groups and they would act in groups until inevitably one betrayed another. Um, which is in fact what happened to Wu Peifu. Uh, he was betrayed by one of his ally subordinates, sort of. Um, ended up retiring from military life late in the 1920s. He came back in uh, 1936. He was concerned about the growing spread of communism in China and thought he ought to do something about it. So um, ended up not really doing anything. He, he ultimately died of sepsis from an infected tooth in 1939, but had a very significant influence on the course of Chinese history uh, during that period in the 1920s. So uh, we'll have a full profile of, on him in the book now. Uh, and having broken through those two stretch goals. We have two more visible. Like I said, we're getting really close to the end of the stretch goals here, and one that a bunch of people have been excited about, including myself, uh, has now come up, and that is the cocktail section. That is now sort of a tradition of head stamp books. Uh, we had some French cocktails and French-inspired cocktails in Chasse to Famas. We had some British and British-inspired cocktails in Thornycroft SA80. And it was an interesting experiment, interesting thought process to figure out what exactly would be Chinese warlord era cocktails. So uh, if we hit that stretch goal, I will come back and tell you all about it. I think it's uh, I think the solution we have uh, is pretty cool. So um, that's, let's see, uh, we've got a couple more uh, warlord profiles coming up, the last couple of them, um, also now in the visible stretch goals. So. Uh, stick with it. Thank you guys very much, and we'll see where it goes from here.